y'all, it's Tiffany with Thrifty Tiffany, and I am back with a bake with me. We are gonna be making homemade bread, Dutch oven bread, I have that there. So it's gonna be a long process, quick for you guys when you're watching this, but it'll probably be an all day event for myself, but it is quick and easy. So we're gonna get started. If you're new, my name is Tiffany, and this is Thrifty Tiffany, and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Hope you stay and subscribe and hit that bell button. <laughs> hit that bell button not the bell bottom y'all also if you're a current subscriber again thank you so much for all your, all your continued love and support i cannot talk today as always and um i hope everyone is staying safe wash your hands okay, so and to start with you need a two cups of lukewarm water i will be putting the recipe in the description i got it off of the tasty website i'm sure you guys have seen the tasty website um it's just Dutch oven bread is all it's called. Um, so you get two cups of lukewarm water. Um, and one, I have bought these, I got three packs, but I'm gonna use one of the fast rise yeast. So I'm just gonna get the yeast started and um, get it going. It's supposed to sit and foam and do all the stuff it's supposed to do. So we're just gonna add the yeast into it. Let's see. I guess give it a quick little stir. I'll start real quick. Yeast smells awful. But it's going to make some good, good bread. We're going to mix it. And then let it start to activate. And then we'll move to the next. After this activates, then we'll start with the next one. Now we're going to add the flour to this container because this is what we're going to end up mixing it with while our yeast is rising. Um, we're just going to add four cups of flour. I got all purpose flour. One. <laughs> Two. Three. Four. Okay, then we're gonna and add now salt. we have to add one and a half teaspoon of kosher salt. So I'm gonna use this salt right here. And um, let me find the one and a half. What are you doing, Bella? One and a half teaspoon. We're gonna do one and a half teaspoon of kosher salt. I don't wanna mess this up, so hold on one second. Oops. So here's one, and I'm adding this to the four cups of flour, and then a half. Here's a half. And then we're gonna mix that real quick. And then we're gonna make a well once the uh, yeast is all the way activated and add it into here. Now at this point, this is the flour and the salt and you make like a little well in the middle and then we're gonna add our yeast because it is activating, it's bubbling up. I'm gonna show you. You can see it's foaming and bubbling up really nice. So I'm gonna start adding it a little bit at a time in um, here in the middle of the hole. And you use your hands, of course, make sure you wash them. Making bread, so definitely you want to get all the stuff out of there. <laughs> this is my first time making this, so we're learning this together, this Dutch oven bread. But it looked easy, so we will see. You have to let it sit quite a few times and rise. And so after we do this and get it where it needs to go, it's going to sit and rise for an hour and a half to two hours. Um, and then we'll do another thing and to it. Oh, goodness. I'm going to have to use both hands to help. A 
It should said it should pull away from the bowl. I might have to add a little bit more flour. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Y'all, this is... It's definitely pulling away from the bowl, but sticking to my hands. Oh, I was supposed to wet my hands. <laughs> You're supposed to wet your hands so it won't stick, y'all. Yeah, well, Tiffany, you didn't do that. Y'all want to see? <laughs> okay. Cayman, can you come here and add just a little bit more flour for me? You wet my fingertips. All right. I wet my, there we go. That helped. I'm telling y'all, definitely wet your fingertips and it'll help. Let me wet this one. Let me see if I need more, Cayman. Hold on. There we go. It's working a little better now. I think I do need, it says if it's too wet, add a little bit more flour, like a teaspoon at a time. Can you just hand me the flour over there? Like, and like sprinkle some over it. Sprinkle just a little bit, because it's a little too wet. Yeah, here, just start sprinkling a little bit. All right, let's we'll start with that, because it said a teaspoon. I hate that I forgot to wet my hands first. Can y'all shut the laundry room door? Please. Okay. Now we're going to Actually, Cayman, come here real quick. We gotta add just a tiny bit more of flour. Wet my hands. Actually, I should probably just start rinsing all off. All right, I go ahead and add just a little bit more flour to it. Like a little bit. Oh. All right. Okay, that's good. This time I wet my hands. All right, y'all. So we're going to leave it in here to sit. I think it needs some more. I don't know what to do. Let's see. That should be. It's supposed to lift all the way up from the bowl. So now it's just gonna sit and wait for an hour and a half. That's what she looks like. And you also put it a tea towel or a flour sack towel sitting over it. We will see her back in an hour and a half. So it's been an hour and a half. Now we're gonna take this off. Look how high it is. Y'all, this whole thing, now is the fun part. Guess what we get to do? Look at it jiggle. Look at this thing. Hi, y'all look. Look how hot it got. So now uh, we poke it. I'm going to put a little flour on my hands. You got to poke it and... What do you call it? You got to uh, like push it down and then you do this. Put some more flour on my hand because I do not want to mess like last time. So you poke it down and then take it says take a spatula or your hand and get it off the sides. Because then we're going to have to let it sit for another hour and a half. Told you it was going to be a process, y'all. 
So we're gonna let it sit for another hour and a half, but you know what, all we have right now is time. We got time. We got time to do this. So just move it all, and then we're gonna move it around. Um, I'm gonna put some more flour on my hands. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna pour it out here. Let me scoot this back so you guys can see. I put some flour on the, uh, oh my goodness. Let's see. And then we're gonna poke it and then leave it in there. I'm gonna put it back in here to rest some more after we poke it a little bit. so you guys can see. All right, now to put it, ah, no, don't stick to the thing. We don't want it to stick. Okay, y'all, now we're gonna put it back in this. All right, now to put it, Put it back in the pot and let it rise some more. I'm gonna put the, wash my hands and we're gonna put the flour sack towel or tea towel, whatever you wanna call it, over the top and we'll let it rise for another hour and a half and we will see it from there. Okay, so we're gonna flour the cutting board or surface and then we're gonna take our doubled the size uh, dough right here. Look, I got on it right there. Pulling it all down. So this is our second time doing this. Whew. Now, it all in there because then we're gonna have to oil this then you need a clean I'm gonna go ahead and clean this one real quick clean it clean container you can use a regular bowl glass bowl um, and then we're gonna put some oil olive oil in it and then we're gonna swish it around all around because it's gonna rise again so I'm just wiping it around all the edges and then I'm gonna dust it with some flour let me get this thing we're gonna wipe it with this Okay, now we're gonna sprinkle some flour in it and dust it around in there. I'm gonna shake it out in the sink. Like you do for a cake pan, that's what I'm gonna do. That's what it says to do. All right, so I dusted it, oiled it, and dusted it with flour. Now I'm gonna take some flour in my hands and now we're gonna start forming a ball with this, like a dough ball. Oh, like a, you know, just like a good dough ball like this. And you're pinching it in the bottom while you're doing it. Add some flour to the top, keep pinching it, working it around. It's a nice smooth surface. And then we're gonna put it back in the thing once again. for about an hour. And while this is sitting for about an hour, oh, let me, while this is sitting for an hour, um, you preheat the oven and go ahead and heat up your Dutch oven. 
So I'm gonna plop this in here. It's a nice little ball. So it's like a perfect little ball here. And we're gonna cover that once again for one hour. And then we'll check back on that. Um, now, we're gonna turn on the oven to four, I think it was 450, it'll be in the recipe, 450 start. And you wanna put this in for 450, on 450 to get real hot, the top and everything. I believe it had the top on it, yes. So just put that in there on 450 and we'll be back. Okay y'all, so it's finished, it's last hour. Look at this, it looks so perfect, like so perfect. Let me get the Dutch oven out of the oven because it's in here, it has to be in here at 450. Um, so we're gonna transfer. Okay y'all, so we got a couple things going right here. We got our water boiling for the spaghetti right here. And um, I gotta get this out of the oven. This hot, hot Dutch oven. Hot, hot Dutch oven. Let's see if we can do this. Woo! I'm gonna take the top off, obviously. Okay. Actually, let me turn that off for a second. Move the pot right here for one second, just so I can transfer. And all you have to do is transfer this, take this out, it shouldn't stick. There we go, look at it, it came out so pretty. And look, it had a little breakage, that's what you want, that's what you want. Put that there. And we're gonna put the top on, and we're gonna put it in the oven on the 450. So we'll see it when it comes out. Let's see this baby, okay. It's done, y'all. Ooh, ooh, it's hot. Here's the pan. We're gonna see what she looks like. I'm so nervous, let me turn that oven off. That oven is hot, that oven is on 450. I'm bring her over here onto this pot, this wood. We're about to see what it is. We're about to see the surprise. Let me mix these up. All right, let's put that down just a little bit. Let me make sure the light's on. Yeah, it's a little brighter, huh? I have the other light off. Okay, I'm gonna scoot this close so y'all guys can see. Let's turn this down. See what the bread comes out, please. I hope, I pray. I've been working on this all day and I hope I didn't mess it up when it plopped in there. Please, I'll say a quick prayer, please, please. And I need a new mitt. <laughs> Let's see. Are y'all ready? It might fog up, here we go. The suspense is killing me! Here we go. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. Oh my goodness. My <laughs> She's a beauty. She's a beauty. Woo, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Look at this bread, y'all. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is picture worthy right there. That is a beauty. She's a pretty little thing. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Look at that. Look at her. Just a beautiful, just a beautiful thing. I'll have to cut her open in a little while and show y'all this beauty. Okay, so we're about to cut her. Said just wait 10 minutes. It's sad, I don't wanna cut her, but we got to because we're gonna have spaghetti. Um, oh my gosh, I don't wanna cut her because she's so pretty. And the crust, crust is crispy. Y'all also made garlic butter over here. Ooh, I have some garlic in there, some fresh butter, salted butter with um, minced garlic. Oh, so excited. Let's cut her. I'm just gonna cut. Oh yeah. Look at how soft it is. On the inside, it's so soft. Let me show you. Oh, 
ho, ho, ho. Do y'all see this bread? Do y'all see this bread? I have to get a better angle for you guys to see it. Oh man, let me turn. This is her. Look at those. And the air pockets, which make it so yummy. Oh my goodness. Do y'all understand how amazing this is? Yummy, yummy bread. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. And try this recipe. It's really, really easy. I'll have it linked in the description and probably in the comment section. But it's it's not, well, I wouldn't say quick, but it's easy. Um, it, it is processed to make bread. But, oh, I'm so excited. And to put some, um, here, y'all want to, hold on. Cut okay, so me and Kaya just tasted the bread, y'all. We dipped it in our um, garlic butter. Kaya, what do you think? Is it good? Yeah. It's y'all, it's really good. It's moist on the inside. Oh. Mmm. And crispy on the outside. Mm -mm -mm. Thumbs up. Make it if y'all have all you need is flour, yeast, water, and salt. That's it. Love you guys. Bye.